F1 is a man's sport, but increasingly more and more women are entering the sport and today I'm focusing on 14 women in Formula One. F1 is a man's game, but there are plenty of women making their mark in the sport. Uh, if I have a look at my audience on Instagram, it's about 70% men. On YouTube, it's about 80% men. But there are more and more women coming into the sport, so I thought I'd focus on 14 of them in today's video. Let's start off with Claire Williams. Claire, of course, is the deputy team principal at Williams. She's 43 years old, the figurehead of the British team. She's the daughter of this man, Frank Williams, as uh, most people would realise, a pioneer in the sport of Formula One. After graduating from Newcastle Uni in 1999 with a degree in politics, she became a press officer for the Silverstone Racing Circuit. Of course, that's where we see the British Grand Prix. In 2002, she joined the Williams F1 team as a communications officer. And then in 2010, she became the head of communications for the team. And a year later, was promoted to director of marketing and communications for Williams. When Frank stepped down from the Williams board in March 2002, Claire became the Williams family representative on the board. In March 2013, she was appointed deputy team principal responsible for marketing, communications, and the commercial aspects of the team's business. And in 2016, she was awarded the Order of the British Empire, an OBE, uh, in the honours list there for services to F1 racing. Oh, and just quickly let me say thank you to LuxuryBazaar.com for sponsoring this video. This company's been around for decades, and if you're after high-end accessories, in particular luxury watches, I'm suggesting you head to LuxuryBazaar.com. I've bought several pre-owned watches over the years, I've always gone to great lengths to ensure the seller is trusted and respected, and that's important. LuxuryBazaar.com is both. Next up is Kate Bevan. Now, maybe you know Kate, maybe you know her name, maybe you've seen her face. She is indeed almost royalty in Formula One. Her title, Director of Hospitality and Experiences. Here she is with one of the great actors of our time, Woody Harrelson, at Silverstone going back, what are we? Must have been three years to 2017. In 2003 though, Bernie Eccleston asked Kate to come on board and work as the commercial opportunities person. She was responsible for developing those opportunities. Over the years though, the focus of F1 has changed. It went from just purely food and beverage to F&B plus experiences. Things like the hot laps in a supercar, paddock and pit tours, and even tours around the track on board an open deck truck. And Kate has identified those areas and she's worked with providers to help make those different opportunities come to light. She's much loved, she's well regarded, and certainly hard working. Yes, she is F1 royalty. Let's jump across to television now, and here's Sky Italia's TV presenter Federica Maslin, 34 years of age, stylish, classy, has a super presence in both the paddock and the pits. She works very long hours, she's there early, she finishes late, she's in front of the cameras, she's doing hard work behind the cameras, she's there for every race, but she also covers other events when not doing Formula One. When she's at the track, she's normally on air with this fella. He's a character, Davide Valsecchi, another Italian on Sky Italia. She's also partnered on air with Jacques Villeneuve on the left and Marc Jean on the right from time to time. Not every race, but certainly she and Davide are the mainstay. Is she popular? You bet. She's got some 350 odd thousand followers on Instagram. She has fans that turn up to many races and uh, she's more than happy to pose with those fans and press the flesh with them as she did with Henry Velkowski from Perth, Western Australia. Next up, Victoria Lloyd. She's the press officer at Red Bull Racing. She's been there as long as I've been shooting Formula One. Here you can see her standing next to Daniel Ricard in the TV media pen, and uh, she'll be recording what's going on, making notes, teeing up who is going to interview Daniel next. And of course now she's moved on to working alongside Max Verstappen at Red Bull. She's from Britain, and in her role, she's handling both the teams and the drivers' relationships with the press, which of course in F1 is vital. Now, if you're an avid F1 fan, you would have seen her on the F1 TV coverage, almost always in the background, but there she's cool, she's calm, and widely respected in the paddock. Next up, 
British TV presenter Natalie Pinkham. She's the Formula One pit lane reporter for Sky Sports F1. This is her with her two youngsters, Wilfred on the left and Willow on the right. And did you know that Wilfred's godfather is this man, Daniel Ricciardo? Yes, I only learnt that late last year. Nat started on Five Live in radio in 2011. The next year, she moved over to Sky in 2012, works alongside this man, the genial and jovial Ted Kravitz. And at this point, I'll remind you that I've got upcoming long table F1 dinner presentations in Melbourne, still a seat left, Monaco, Montreal, Amsterdam, and one in London on the Tuesday prior to the GP. I'd love to see you at one of those events. Jumping on now to Tatiana Calderon. You probably know her as the test driver for Alfa Romeo. She hails from Colombia. She's aged 26 years of age. Here she is at the launch last week in Barcelona of the Alfa Romeo car and in her Alfa Romeo kit. She started go-karting at the age of nine and she's a first cousin of a former president of Colombia. I took this picture of her and Mia Jasic coming into the track, but I didn't realize until a couple of days ago that on the right is her sister Paula, who is her co-manager. And this is a picture, a close-up picture of her eye. She's friendly, always happy to pose for photos in the paddock, and hopes to one day obviously break into Formula One, perhaps as the first woman in the sport. Next on the list is Sylvia Hoffer Frangipani. Sylvia is head of communications at Ferrari. She joined the team in 2019, replacing Alberto Antonini. She used to work for McLaren, where she'd handled press since 2010. That's a fair effort in F1. It's a high pressure job for arguably the most important team in the competition. And she's been given the task of improving Ferrari's relationship with the media, which has been anything but smooth in the recent past. Sylvia started at Ferrari just a few races prior to the woman on the left here, Mia Jasic, another popular person in the paddock. Mia is the press officer for Charles Leclerc. She's in her 20s, just like Charles. She's landed a plum roll at one of the prime teams. Now she was with Charles at Sauber as his press officer in 2018. They worked well together and then when Charles moved over to Ferrari a few races into the season in 2019, suddenly Mia turns up at his side in the red. Mia Jasic, a rising star in the F1 paddock. Many of you will know this woman, Britta Ruska, PR manager for Sebastian Vettel. Now she's been with Sebastian for more than a decade and probably knows him better than almost any person in the paddock and is a great sounding board for the German driver. Now I've done a separate video about Britta and you can find that by looking at the links below and uh, it's well worth a watch. Here she is alongside Rosa from Mercedes-Benz. Now Rosa is another power broker in the paddock. They're not close friends but they certainly enjoy a close professional relationship. Rosa's primary role is to look after Lewis Hamilton and the press and as you can imagine Everybody wants a piece of Lewis. So she's the woman you need to go through if you ever want access to the world champion, the current world champion, in fact, the six time world champion. And this is the other woman on Team Lewis, Angela Cullen. This is Lewis's physio, New Zealand born. Since 2016, she's been a constant at Lewis's side, both in the good times and in the not so good times. And like Britta, I've done a separate video on Angela, which I'd urge you to have a look at. Once again, you'll find the links below in the text. Recognize this woman? This is Jamie Chadwick. Jamie is aged 21, she's a British driver, and she joined Williams last year as a development driver. She's the current W Series champion, having made the podium at five of the six races last year. She's a polished driver and an impressive public speaker, so you can expect to see her around the paddock at a number of races in 2020. And finally, a couple of quick ones, people you may have seen on television but don't know who they are or what they do, this is Michelle Crichton. She's a composites engineer and works with the team in the garage on the car. Bit of a character too. And finally, Ruth Buscom, a strategist at Alfa Romeo, and she's our 14th and final woman in F1 on this particular video. Hey, thanks for watching. Thanks for getting through to the end. Remember, I'd love you to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. And if you click the bell, you'll be notified when they come up. You can find all of my images at ProStarPix.com. You can find my blogs and podcasts at KimElman.com. And all of my pictures live from the track and during the week at Instagram at KimElman. Thanks for watching and stay passionate.